we have intense debate debate in the United States about the cost of delivering healthcare and uh, United States spends around 18-20% of the gross domestic production for the healthcare which uh, is a lot of money and what we are noticing is that the cost of doing bone marrow transplantation is going up each year and uh, billions of dollars are being spent on the patients who are requiring bone marrow transplant and one group of patients who really are uh, you know having complications are the one who have unrelated donor transplant and uh, one of the major complications is graft versus host disease and that results in patients getting infection and uh, all these complications drive the cost of doing unrelated donor transplant. So what we did at our center is that we looked at uh, different unrelated donor transplants we do. One of them is umbilical cord blood transplant, one is bone marrow, one is peripheral blood stem cells, and the last one is peripheral blood stem cells where we remove the T cells. And uh, so what we are noticing is that the patients who get uh, peripheral blood stem cell transplant with uh, CD34 selection or T-cell depletion, they tend to have a less graft versus host disease, less risk of infections, as a result of which they don't sustain much organ injury and they end up staying less in the hospital and their overall cost is much less compared to other patients. Now what we are also noticing is that when we do CD34 selected transplant for um, non-malignant disorder, we are noticing that the cost is lower when we do CD34 selection. Uh, I think we have to educate the community about the different approaches of unrelated donor transplants and I think uh, once there is a larger data available, I think the uh, community will feel comfortable to do a different kind of transplant, especially where we can deplete the T cells and uh, uh, you know, I am pretty confident that will decrease the cost down the road.